So Penelope, she's a little tired. <sighs> Liam's just hanging out. Hi. <laughs> you like the book? The lighting is like horrible in the Mustang. We were taking the Mustang because Lonnie had to go get Lex from school. So we are taking Danielle. She already got her hair done, but we are taking her to, to the hair store to get some stuff for her hair. Promise tomorrow, so we decided to make this just one big prom vlog. Good afternoon, guys. All right, it's the next day. We're having a rough autism day in our house, so you guys probably aren't gonna get to see a lot of the kids, but you'll get to see beautiful Danielle. I'm taking her to the nail salon now so she can get her nails painted. You already know what color you're gonna get? I'm just gonna get a shimmery green. A few moments later. We are at Target. Danielle got her nails done. I'll show you guys in a little bit. We need to find her some green shimmery, like liquid eyeshadow, I think. That's what we're going for. So, Target did not have the eyeshadow she needed, so we are going to Ulta. All right, guys, I don't know if you've ever went to Starbucks and Target, but they have the little Target dog, it's so cute. Look at Danielle's nails. They're gonna match her dress so, so well. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Many hours later. Look at that eye makeup. It's looking good. My my whole entire desk like looks crazy right now. It's it's okay. We aren't gonna show them the <laughs> Don't mess. show that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Many hours later. Give me love, give me all your love, oh cause I want you. <laughs> Guys, no look how one else she makes is. me feel so this way. Don't hey, no, don't, there's <laughs> Here's your purse. When are your friends supposed to be here? I have no clue. My phone's inside. So Danielle's going to Olive Garden first with her friends. Hopefully. I don't think they actually reserved anything. And then they're going to prom, and then they're going to Waffle House. Then they're going to have a slumber party. You ready to go to the park? What? That's what you're right. You're going to <laughs> Are we ready? Hey. Are we? big for that bike, Lex. Oh, you have your own big bike. Do, do, do you want to go grab it? Maybe. You, this you. is a perfect size for this. And I want to tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me, but you're still holding back, still holding back. See it? Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Show Let's go. Let's go. The next day. Hulk? Rush. Hulk? Rush. My name is uh, Penelope. Uh, I can get you. Let's go, Nelly. We're going to go bye bye. So we are under a mandatory evacuation. There was a fire a couple streets over right by the elementary school and everyone in our neighborhood has to evacuate because the fire is spreading. We have almost 30 mile per hour winds over here. Like you can obviously tell the wind's not good. Not a good day for a fire. Because it was right by the elementary school, they moved Lex to the high school and we were able to pick up Lex, but at the time they weren't letting us pick up the teenagers. Now they're allowing parents to come get the teenagers because it's spreading. So we have a bag packed, we're ready. Lonnie's getting some things and we just grabbed the things that obviously are a necessity. Clearly we we were not prepped for this. This is something we thought would happen on our land, not not in the springs. Noah's at center. Thankfully it's far, far away from here, so that's good. Not even sure what our actual plan is, but we're just going to first get everyone safe. A few moments later. It's like behind you. So we've picked up the teenagers. We're at Circle K right now getting something to drink. And then we're gonna go get Noah. And then we're gonna go to Emily's because Emily was nice enough to call me and be like, come on over. She may have to evacuate too. 
you know, we may have to both be evacuating, but right now that's our best plan is to go over there. We live really, really close by each other, but we're separated by a really busy road, so I'm hoping she won't have to be evacuated and we'll just kind of take it from there. There's actually three fires right now going on. One of them's not even remotely close to us, so we really don't have to worry about it, but two is right by us. <laughs> Lonnie Jr. is the tablet holder. Oh, look at this. I just happened to have a conversation with Lex yesterday. Was it yesterday you guys were having a conversation about hair color? You're like, I have red hair. No, Lex asked why he had brown hair, and I said, because Dad has brown hair. He goes, no, it looks great to me. Are you girls playing? Kind of, a little bit. Do you want to see yourself? <laughs> so cute. Many hours later. The evacuation has been lifted, so they got the fire under control. There's another one, like they're going off all day today. Like, don't even know what's going on. So we are cleaning up because Emily and them are have a lot of therapy, so we don't want to impose any more than we have to. But we're gonna get things all together. Today was my working day too, so it's like, what? Liam loves this thing. It's the coolest thing ever. He loves it, right Liam? No! All right, so we are going home. We're gonna get McDonald's first, just to make it easier. I have to get some work done. I am taking the last two weeks of May off from work for Danielle's graduation. Everyone's coming in. Lonnie's birthday. It's his birthday on Monday. Cash app him at the Celtic Spurt. No, I'm kidding. I will refund you if you cash app us. I need not to have work backed up. So I'm trying to, trying to make it work. Try to make work work. We've been home. I've been working. The air outside is horrible, but there's a fire where our land is at now. We're not where it's at, but like to the west of it. Thankfully, we think it's on the other side. So our land should be fine. But that was really scary because we didn't know where it was at. It's like 386 acres have burned. What a crazy day, guys. What a crazy day. <sighs> Hello, landing crew. So Lonnie is getting gas and we are going to Lowe's because our architect has made our floor plan, but he just wants us to basically choose our preliminary appliances. So he makes sure that when he's making these plans for the con contractors, that there's enough space for everything that we're needing. Cause obviously as a larger family, we do need more than just like the standard size fridge and things like that. So we're going to go to Lowe's and do that. So about the fires, the air has cleaned out. It's been two days now. All the fires were put out except for the fire by our land it ended up being over like a thousand acres thankfully the path of the fire was opposite from our land so of course mother nature does what mother nature does and it could change but for right now it looks like our land is is safe let me see if i can get an update i've been working all day so <laughs> okay so it looks like our land is not going to be impacted from what they're seeing it is at 10 percent containment which doesn't sound like a lot but the last two days it's been at zero percent so there has been some improvement it's over a thousand acres Acres, so it isn't spreading as fast as it was before um, as I think it was like 986 yesterday so it does look like they're trying to get it under control but you know it's hard once it it's it spreads that far no homes have been burned they've had to evacuate 120 homes but no homes have been touched I know where everything's at and it's just so surreal and it just kind of reiterates like why we are doing so much like we're clearing out all the trees um, on our land we got so much hay for it but when you live in a state that's obviously high risk for fire specifically in the mountains you have to do those things like we have to make sure that we don't have trees within a certain radius of our house and that's something that we're going to just continue doing and we're doing extra things anyway like we're going to install like a sprinkler system and then when the plans are completely done we're going down to the fire department and having them look over the plans and make sure there's nothing that we are missing to make sure it's safe as possible and that's what most people in the area that we're moving to do just to make sure that everything is safe fires unfortunately happen and it's a part of living in Colorado kind of like hurricanes happen in, in Florida and it was part of part of living in Florida um, it's just part of it and 
it's one of those accommodations that we have to make, but it definitely was an eye opener. I was not expecting for this to happen in May and we definitely weren't expecting it to happen here in the Springs. I'm not surprised with it being up where our property's at. Bless you, honey. Bless you. But yeah, we are going to go to Lowe's and we figured we would bring you guys along. This week is Danielle's last week of school. It's a little, a little emotional. We're still getting the house ready and it's just like, whoa. All right, so we're gonna have two washer and dryer sets. One is gonna be stackable and then one's not. This one looks fancy. Oh, that, oh, the price isn't bad. So this is the washer and dryer. This isn't the exact ones we're gonna get. Of course, when it's time to actually get the appliances, we're it'll be like a year or two from now. Side. Yeah, we're looking at the sizes. So when he's making the plans, he can make it accordingly, I guess is the best way to explain it. Oh my goodness. This is the deep freezer we need. What? $7.79? We, we, we don't have to choose the deep freezer. That's part of, we're gonna have that outside. He said all appliances. All appliances. You could go in the garage. I guess that's true. But regardless, it's still exciting that we're at this place. For Noah, since it's just gonna be him and Liam down there or another child, like this one wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I think they're all the same size, honestly. All right, so this is the one I want for us, guys. It is so gorgeous. It's made by KitchenAid, but I don't think we would get it. I like the other one too. And the stove, we definitely have to be a little bit more specific. Like this is the one because right. he's gonna make sure it fits in between the cabinets. So Lonnie is gonna get an island. So I don't understand, do you get both of these or just one? I like this one over here. That one's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so next is the one that we've been avoiding and that is fridges. It's really hard because I feel like a every fridge is too small for us. I want a simple fridge for Noah, but something that has like Box that. Maker. Yes. So this is the one Lonnie wants. We're not getting it because $3,200. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is not, we are not this bougie. I guess that one's not bad. That's a lot of fridge space that we don't have now. Let's look at the freezer. Mm. I like where there's two freezer parts. Lonnie, it's gonna be interesting to look back on this video and see what appliances we actually did end up putting in our house. Cause it's different to pick it out, but when you actually have to buy them cause we aren't including our appliances in our home loan. This, this is oh. 30. That is a really big fridge. I like it. I want something realistic for us. Like I feel like that one is like, our kids are so rough on appliances. Yeah, I, I, I like this one. You know, it's only 2,700. Our kids aren't gonna be kids forever. Okay, but this fridge isn't gonna last us forever either. Look at that, guys. Look at that. All right, guys, so I want a double oven because when we do like holidays and things like that, it's so hard to only have one. So the stove we're getting has an oven in it. These are double ovens. Don't love that one because of the price, but look. This is a microwave. This is what it'll look like. Hang on, I'm showing the YouTubers. Um, and then we got this stove. Look how nice that looks. And I like it because we won't have to worry about a microwave. That's the one I'm getting. Mark my words. Yeah, I think this is a good size for an island. I mean, I'm not I'm saying like I want stuff. this kitchen. I'm just saying look. I wouldn't be mad if someone gave me this kitchen. So we did find some cheaper stackable ones that we like. The one thing we don't like about the ones that aren't separable is if one of them breaks down, you have to replace the entire unit versus just going and getting another washer or another dryer. Although we've had ours for like years and years and years and it, it works fine. So the whole joke about like, let's wait to see what appliance we actually get is because when we first started this process, <laughs> And we were like designing and like being like, oh, this is what we want the outside the house to look like. And some of you guys from stream will remember this is I was basically wanting a low key castle. That's not what our house is gonna look like because I learned how expensive those, <laughs> those, uh, what are they called? The round, regardless, it was just so much. And I was just like, nope. Now I'm just kind of like, just give me a house. I don't even care what the outside look like. <laughs> like just give, give me a house where I'm not having to pay rent on the house we're living in and mortgage on the land, please. So we are going home. Wait, we, we aren't leaving. If we get anything bigger than a 10 by 10, we have to get a building permit. So <laughs> we're wanting something we can go ahead and put on the land and start putting stuff in once they flatten the ground this summer. I like this one because you can stack stuff. Yeah, same, it's like high. But like, how much is this thing? Um, do it yourself. 
$17.99. Sounds good. Professionally installed. You still have to do all of that. I would yeah. have to do it myself. Same. I think me and Bubby could do it. Yeah, it would be a fun project for you guys. So basically, the step we're at right now is we're finishing up things with the architect. That's obviously why we had to come here. Then the summer, they're going to go through with an excavator and flatten the land to get ready for building. So it's basically considered like dirt work um, so that next summer they can start building. Uh, we will also be able to get a driveway this way, get an address and set up the electric pole on our property. So super exciting things. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at. This was not supposed to be about our house. This was actually a vlog about Daniel's prom and then <laughs> The fire has happened. Again, if you want to follow our house journey, it is um, Landing Homestead. I will talk about things here and there, kind of like we did today. But overall, if you're just like loving the homestead lifestyle, like want to kind of see the process as, gosh, it's such a slow process. But if you want to follow it, then just follow us at Landing Homestead. We'll just kind of go from there. I hope everyone has themselves an amazing week. Not sure when I'm going to have time to edit and put this up. Love you guys. Where you move, make me blind You will always be there There's no doubt in my mind You will always be there Heading out to see ya And leave the rest behind